day 1181 it is christmas day just walking along the marina del rey going to meet my mom and dad at the hotel my dad got this super fancy hotel which is awesome and the apartments that we're staying at are right below those and yeah i'm just walking just having an interesting experience it's like i see all this like those nice apartments over there you know uh, my dad got this hotel room that is super fancy and it's like i keep seeing all of this expensive stuff and I, I like look at those apartments and i'm like man with the skills and the talents and the intelligence and the creativity and the passion that god has given me like how am i not living in a place like that like how am i in this situation that i'm in and it's like hard to when i think that way not to feel ashamed embarrassed frustrated angry upset with myself like feel like a failure and then that just gives me this anxiety and it's just like man i've never struggled more in my life financially than i am now and then on the other side i've also never felt more successful <laughs> than i do now like i've i've found what i'm called to do and i'm doing it and i'm really amazing at it and i've got all this opportunity in front of me so i bounce back and forth between like seeing all of this stuff and just feeling really down about it which is just the enemy and then the flip side of that is i see all this stuff and it's like god's giving me a preview like we're staying in this really nice apartment our landlord paid for it because there's mold in our apartment so they have to fix that so he's paying for it and so it's just a much nicer place to live a really nice area marina del rey is super fancy my dad just upgraded tonight to a hotel right here on the pier it's like 250 or 300 dollars a night and and i just feel like god's just giving me a preview of the blessings that are on their way and the enemy just wants me discouraged and frustrated and confused and all this stuff but i really believe that god is just showing me preview and um one of the girls from church she messaged me and she was just saying that she really feels like with everything that i've done in the community and everything i'm doing for people and um with the gifts that god has given me all this stuff like god sees it and he's gonna bless me and it was just like so random that she would say that um and so yeah, it's just, um, I feel like it's right around the corner and I just need to take control of my thoughts and not let the enemy come in and taint my thoughts and what's going on because I'm stepping into my calling. And on January 11th, <clears throat> in two weeks, I'll be launching this to the first church and doing the coaching for 50 to 100 people. Um, with a pastor who's well known, a huge influencer online, that's gonna connect me to other churches and pastors and people and we could do a partnership and um, put it out to people online that could pay for it. I mean, if we just had 100 people sign up out of the 1.6 million followers that he has, if we got 100 people to sign up, that right off the bat would be $150,000. He'd get 75,000, I'd get 75,000 and all I'd have to do is seven phone calls, like seven hours, that's it. And so I just, like, I look at those over there and I'm like, I should be able to look at, at a place like that and say, oh, yeah, I could easily live there. Like, 4000 a month, 5000 a month, that's that's fine. Like, because of the, what God has given me. And so I just have to be patient because God's given me all these skills and these abilities and this creativity, but I've never used it for the right thing. I've used it to build the wrong businesses and the wrong kind of products that weren't like bad products, but they served the world, they didn't serve God. And now I've got a business and a brand and a product that serves God and his people. And I just know it's a multi hundred million dollar empire. And so it's not like I've wasted all this time. It's just now that now I'm in alignment and I just know there's massive success on the way, just massive success. And I'm in the in-between which the in-between is just, it's just challenging sometimes. And financially, it's just, I'm looking at my life and it's just like the enemy is just doing a decently good job 
of like, Chris, how are you gonna get out of this hole? Like, how are you gonna get out of this? How are you gonna get caught up? How are you gonna be able to afford groceries again? Like, how, how are you gonna do all this? And if I listen to that voice, it's just so destructive. And so I just have to do this video to vent it and get it all out because it's just poison, just poisonous thoughts. And there's the hotel, like, it's just, it's like God is showing me it's all right in front of you. Just keep being patient, keep being obedient. And it's all gonna unfold. It's all gonna, it's all gonna happen. And it's just like I've sacrificed everything. I put everything on the line. I, I bet on God and on my calling and I'm all in on it. Like, I'm all in. <laughs> like, I don't know how much more all in I can get. Like, yeah. So, look at that moon right behind. Where is it? There it is. Almost a full moon. Or it is a full moon beautiful so yeah I just need to get my mind straight and just remember who God is God's gonna do all this I just need to be obedient he's gonna lead me to the success and the breakthroughs and all that stuff and all I gotta do is just keep saying yes to him and so ah, I just need to let it go just let it go and enjoy where I'm at because this is this is only temporary and I'll have a lot of stories to tell about this part in my life my phone's been shut off for I think three weeks now or something yeah it's just uh it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy so yep It's all good. It's all good. There's a giant yacht right there. <laughs> all right.